The word Vogue possesses so much power within the fashion world. The glossy magazine is sold across the world and published in 19 different languages. The queen of pop icon Madonna has a whole song dedicated to Vogue. The legacy is timeless and sought after. If you work for Vogue or appear in Vogue, you have made it in life. Vogue is the fashion magazine. Author Baldwin Turner found Vogue in 1892, but it was very different to what it is now. The magazine was published weekly in America. It targeted the elite socialites of New York high society. The first copy had a price of 10 cents, around $3 to date. Instead of fashion, the magazine focused on social etiquette, traditions of high society, and it reviewed books, theater, and music. In, in short, Vogue was a lifestyle magazine for the wealthy, a targeted audience that remains to this date. In 1909, Cadon Montrose Nast, the founder of Cadon Nast publication, bought Vogue and transformed it from a lifestyle magazine to a fashion magazine. It targeted women's fashion, beauty, composure, and etiquette. He changed the weekly publication to publishing every fortnight. It became monthly in 1973. Vogue became a magazine that valued high-quality photos, a focus that continues to evolve. British Vogue editor Alexandria Solomon states in an average issue of Vogue there are over 400 images. Part of the appeal of reading Vogue is for the escapism it offers. With less, the luxury fashion is targeted towards a wealthy audience. The magazine itself is not costly, meaning the average person can daydream and fantasize about a lifestyle that is portrayed as a dream. The high-quality photos featuring beautiful models in a sunny luxury resort creates an aura for which the consumer longs. By ev- having more photos than interviews, it allows our minds to transport ourselves to the appealing location and lifestyle Vogue is selling. Focus on photographs and images from the beginning allow Vogue to sell the escapism and be at the forefront of trends. In 1932, Vogue was one of the first magazines to print a colored photo for the cover. It was of a swimmer holding a beach ball. When Vogue was first published, the cover would feature an illustration or an image of a location or it featured a person who was not famous. The first ever cover in 1892 featured a Debonte at her debut. The first female celebrity to appear on the cover was Madonna in 1989. In 1988, Anna Winter became editor-in-chief for American Vogue, a title she still holds to this date, alongside the title Dame. She needs to revival the newly launched fashion magazine Ellie and made a series of changes in order to achieve this. She began to feature celebrities that were not just models on the cover of the magazine, such as actresses and even politicians such as Hillary Clinton. This sparked a wider interest and became an international trend. She expanded the target audience by launching Teen Vogue in 2003 and Men's Vogue in 2005 in the United States. Vogue continues to be fashion, a fashion magazine, but it is aware of the current climate of the world, such as British Vogue, featuring NHS workers on the cover of the July 2020 issue during the pandemic. This awareness keeps them relevant, as it is still feel, it still feels in touch with the world, while less also balancing this with the ability to feature high-quality escapism images. Vogue's success continues to grow. It unites 24.4 million readers globally and 42 million unique monthly online users. In 2009, the New York Times titled Vogue as High Fashion Bible, which perfectly captures the importance each monthly issue holds. Vogue is the most famous magazine, fashion magazine in the world. Excuse me, I have to say, the most famous fashion magazine in the world. If you have made it to Vogue, you have made it in life. Thank you for watching.